Hi, I'm George Bishop. I'm a postdoc researcher at the University of Galway. And today I shall be talking to you about our study, which was exploring uh, defining national climate neutrality is critical to determine sustainable land use. To fulfill national commitments of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, Irish policymakers are going to have to make difficult decisions that will transform the Afflu section islands. However, given the prominence of methane within the national uh, emissions profile, measured on a 100-year global warming potential basis as per the National Inventory Reporting methodology, there's been considerable interest to look at these alternative metrics that deal with this methane. Uh, the aim of the study was to uh, explore the consequences of applying various contemporary definitions of climate neutrality on potential climate neutral target configurations of agricultural production and land use. We looked at 3,000 randomized scenarios using Goblin, which is described in a Columns presentation, where we set the animal numbers between a value of 1 and 2021 values. So as well as creating these 3,000 randomized scenarios from Goblin, it is also able to achieve climate neutrality not just through specific configurations of land use and uh, agricultural production, but also through the reduction of uh, agricultural emissions at source following mitigation measures. As such, uh, we took these 3,000 scenarios to create a second set of uh, 3,000 scenarios where we reduced agricultural emissions 30% to have some agricultural abatement uh, scenarios. We explored 10 different uh, definitions of climate, uh, climate neutrality within this study, which I'll briefly explain now. So carbon neutrality is often interchangeably used with climate neutrality. However, carbon neutrality considers only the carbon dioxide emissions and removals in the calculations rather than every single greenhouse gas emission, which we hear are balanced to 2050. Uh, the next definition explores her net zero greenhouse gas emissions removals of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide to 2050. And this is the metric that is uh, currently used for reporting GWP 100. GWP star considers the short lifetime of methane in the atmosphere, where the impact of methane is predominantly determined by changes in its emission rates. As such, the methane uh, impacts are calculated using the GWP star equations, however the long-lived carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide are balanced based on GWP 100 to 2050. And global reductions in methane budgets to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees are allocated to uh, nations' quotas here based on grandparenting, meaning equal percentage reductions across every country. Uh, for the scenarios that achieve this uh, methane target, the carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide were balanced uh, based on global warming potential to 2050. We then looked at some derivatives from these four definitions, which included some long-term definitions of climate neutrality to balance emissions in the second half of the 21st century for global warming potential 100 and GWP star. We also looked at introducing inter international fairness into the GWP star approach, by introducing island-specific allocation rules for the methane uh, um, reference for equal um, per capita emissions and emissions proportionate to animal protein production. Uh, we also introduced some fairness into the methane targets, again, for um, per capita emissions and animal protein security. So th these were the 10 climate definitions that we looked at for neutrality. Uh, as we can see here in the graph, uh, this uh, shows the, how the number of successful scenarios for the 3,000 original scenarios and the number of successful scenarios for the abated scenarios there in the stripes for each definition. Uh, what we can see is that the uh, definitions of neutrality that had large numbers of successful scenarios uh, succeeding in neutrality were GWP star, methane target grandparenting, EWP star, protein, and carbon neutrality. Uh, on the other hand, the definitions that had low number of successful scenarios were methane target population, EWP star population, and the long-term GWP 100. 
Here we can see for the GWP100 definition, the spreads of the new forest area for the 3,000 scenarios that uh, succeeded in neutrality there in green and the failed in neutrality in the red, but also for the 3,000 abated scenarios that succeeded in the striped green and failed in the striped red. Overall, we can see that the uh, successful scenarios had considerably more forest, uh, new forest area compared to the scenarios which failed. Also, the scenarios which uh, succeeded with the abated scenarios required less new forest area than the scenarios which originally succeeded. This was seen across every single definition of neutrality which we explored. Carbon neutrality required the lowest amount of new forest area to succeed in neutrality, whereas GWP target population and the long-term GWP100 required the most new forest area to achieve neutrality. In a similar way to before for this GWP100 metric, we can see here we show the, 3, 000, the spread of 3,000 um, scenarios for the scenarios which succeed in neutrality and failed neutrality, as also for the abated scenarios which succeeded there and failed. Like before, the scenarios which succeeded in uh, achieving neutrality had considerably higher new wetland area than those which failed. This trend was seen across all definitions of neutrality, where the scenarios which didn't uh, achieve uh, neutrality had considerably lower organic soil rewetting. Uh, this graph shows all the scenarios which succeeded in neutrality for GWP 100, where every single point is an individual scenario and shows that scenario's adult suckler beef population and uh, dairy cow population. What we can see is that no scenario was able to maintain 2021 levels of dairy cow population and beef suckler cow population, the uh, orange dot in the right there. Indeed, this was seen across every single definition of neutrality which we explored, except carbon neutrality. However, it should be noted that whilst all of these definitions have their pros and cons of where to use, carbon neutrality is by far the weakest definition by not including these methane emissions, which are so prominent in the Irish agriculture scene, so less emphasis should be placed on this definition. Other than methane target population, all other definitions were able to achieve scenarios which maintained 2021 levels of suckler beef population. However, as these scenarios introduced larger populations of dairy cow numbers, these scenarios struggled to achieve uh, high levels of suckler beef population. In fact, only carbon neutrality and GWP star was able to maintain 2021 levels of, suckler, um, of dairy population. And we saw considerable decreases in dairy cow population for methane target population and protein, EWP star population, and a long-term GWP100. Uh, so what does, what does this all mean? Well, really, this study has shown that defining uh, national climate neutrality is critical to determine sustainable land use configurations. But transformative configurations of agricultural production and land use within Ireland's AFLU sector appear to be unavoidable to achieve neutrality for all realistic definitions. Uh, technical abatement, livestock reduction, organic soil rewetting, and afforestation will all be needed. The sp specific uh, definition of climate neutrality will influence the balance of these actions. Uh, I'd like to thank Colm, Remy, and David for their work in this study. Uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>